Hello. Hello. Uh, oh God, this isn't the world ends with you. What am I doing here? <laughs> well, that's that's for you to decide. <laughs> <laughs> oh Mary. God. I can hear myself. You no, can hear. No, okay. Is that the Twitch stream? Yeah. Well, the thing was, I weirdly enough, I thought it was muted. I clicked on it, and I unmuted it when I clicked on it. Yes. But, Twitch that's will a do weird that. Thing. It's done. Oh, okay. It's like if you okay. f if you <laughs> so confused. if you like load. At least this is my experience. Is if you load the tab, if while the tab is loading, you click away so it's not in focus when it actually finishes loading, and then you and it's off. The stream is off, and then you click back to it, and the stream is started. It will start the stream and then unmute it. This is hmm. what has happened to me with like Gene Forge, um, right? With with Mary because I have Mary's channel up. Uh, hey, it, yes, Seawolf. it's disconcerting. Hey, Seawolf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to phrase the sentence, though. I was, I was going to make a joke, and it, it was going to be a <laughs> to my side, my noble and high joke. <laughs> Come to my side, my noble and hairy My noble and hairy are. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so funny how... I, I obviously I play the game and I have that, uh -huh. that that clear in my head, but it's funny how you've never touched the game, but just from watching it stream. Yeah, I mean, you watching it stream, you just hear it a million <laughs> times, like. Which reminds it's... me, I should stream that game with the good ending. Because remember when I streamed it and I didn't realize how to get the, the sort of good yes, ending slash you were just stuff, and it was just it kind like... of sad and depressing. <laughs> I mean, that seems like <laughs> oh, you're replicating kind of... the experience everyone had playing that game originally, presumably. Yeah, I guess. Of just like playing it casually and having no fucking idea what to do. Uh, well, shall we continue our longest yes. journey? Yes. Uh, where the fuck are we? We're on chapter eight. Yeah, we did the we did the merfolk. Yep, and we gotta go talk and, to uh, Island. Some, we gotta take to the uh, the pterodactyl folk. Ter yeah. Pterodactyl. Yeah. Correct. Uh, oh, sure. we're in a magic world. And uh, we're we're trying to fix the balance between. <laughs> we have to explain the plot of this game every Look, time we, we play. We we are doing it's it originally. I know, but it's also that's why it's valuable to have a recap to Maybe keep I it fresh in our script. minds. Maybe I should write a script that we can just like reel it sure. in every time. <laughs> this is like you know we need we need a previously on. Uh, uh -huh. and it updates every episode to, to give you. Uh -huh. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff from, like, before that we haven't gotten back to that's gonna come back. Uh, like, Stark stuff. Um, and I just don't want us to get there and be like, what the fuck is this? I don't remember. Uh, let's pick up this rope. Because <laughs> it's an adventure game. Mm-hmm, uh mm -huh. Uh, there's a path. I could get lost if I just wander off into the jungle with no idea what the island looks like or where I'm heading. Okay, April will apparently not just walk into the jungle. Excuse me. That feels very. That feels very uh, video gamey to say like to block you off from going that way like. Like but you were fine just being in underwater and doing all the shenanigans. Um, is that a crab person? I, it's a big crab apparently. We'll go talk to it in a second. Um, yeah, I mean you it's like a particularly crabs? an adventure game thing. I think about like there being a location that clearly you can walk to and you click on it. Um, and they're like, no. Yeah, because obviously in, in a well. In a game that wasn't a point and click, uh, you would just have like an invisible wall, or you would have something generally. Wait, you wouldn't have. Wait, wait, a... wait. So how how does she know this is a village populated by giant crabs? Because she see what 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 is? Has she been told this before? No, I think she just saw the giant crab and is making an assumption. That's that's a weird assumption. Clear, unpolluted waters, overflowing with life. <laughs> Just one more Perhaps we are not in Siberia. <laughs> Excuse me, April. Okay. I don't. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. 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 
It's uh, it's it's pre-industrial April. That's why it's <laughs> they haven't destroyed the environment. Well, she's not known anything else. I mean, that's true. She is too. She is. She is like four hundred years into industrialization. Uh, anyway, Tiana says hi. I don't know if you heard that. I did. Yeah, she's just right in front of the microphone, and she just looked at me and screamed. How, how can you? Do, what if that's just as normal? What if he's fine? What if he's just like? Is there any chance you speak like a real language? Like um. How about you talk to him first? Okay. A real language? Yeah, some kind of magic I'm just nitpicking. Mm -hmm. Everything April does, I have to I nitpick. Mean, yeah, she's you know, she's a very privileged. Uh, in spite of her, I mean, she's also she's poor written by like I'm, I'm guessing yes. is I'm guessing a yes. white dude. Absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah. She's written by Ragnar Tornquist. Like but I think her character is fairly consistent. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I agree with that. I can't parse what I'm looking at. I don't, yeah, I mean... You see legs and a belly, but yeah. then there's like a weird shell, and I, there's a I, thing coming out which might be his head, but I don't know. Uh-huh, I agree. Uh, I mean, it's really like a hermit crab type thing, where it's not their shell, is what mm -hmm. she said. But what the fuck is... But how does she know that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Here's Ro Oh, I should open Universal. I <laughs> forget. Solid. I'm okay. Well, we can try the rope. I don't know how that would work. No. Okay. Uh, do we have anything? Mm. No. We're on chapter eight. Eight. Is that yeah. right? I'm guessing we might have to go somewhere else and get something first. Because I don't think we have anything to help with this right now. Yeah, I think we have to go somewhere else. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep exploring. We got lots of locations to go to. By which okay. I mean, like, two. It was just weird that it, let, it didn't let us go to one, but let us go to another, which is... There was another place we could go from there as well. There was two paths out of that uh, initial okay. thing. It's an old fireplace. There's a path to the left and a path to the right. You just couldn't go to the jungle. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. Uh, okay. The top half of the statue depicts a creature with a big mouth calling out. That looks like an adventure game puzzle. It does. I can see clear to the bottom. This really is an excellent spot for fishing. I, hmm, I don't know if I would agree with that, April. I feel like I would just do it from... It's a triangular hole, <laughs> like a keyhole. It's a creature with large ears. It's a creature with a big mouth. She doesn't, uh, she's not concerned about these runes or these broken parts. I guess we have to find another creature. Yeah, I would assume we have to find something to stick in here. Which we don't currently have. Okay, let's go to the other zone at least and check that out. <laughs> the other zone. The other, what do you want me to call it? The other, other screen? The other... I actually like the other screen seems like the the proper adventure game thing to say. Yeah, I mean from uh, what we would actually call them is rooms, but <laughs> that's like the yeah screen is probably better. Uh... The top half of the statue depicts a big mouth. Oh, so the first one was listening. This one is shouting. The the no, they're both the same. The bottom is listening, and the top is shouting right but this one looks like it's a uh, complete at the base well never mind no it's not it's a triangular hole like a keyhole okay looks more complete it's a deep hole more like a crevice actually caused by some kind of seismic activity god it must be at least 50 meters down the crevice widens out into a huge cave just below and there's water at the bottom. Is this what our rope is for? 
Rope is far. Gone in the city. hole. Dense jungle. Can we go any further this way? No. Okay, that's just it's just the edge. Did you use the rope? No, I was seeing exploring. Oh, oh right. we can't. Just, can we? No, really? Oh, I had uh, to attach it to this tree. Okay, I tried to attach it to the tree. The hitbox was very small. Hmm. Hey, Darcy. Hey. We're, we're still going. We're still journeying. It's a tiny tree. Well, I hope it's a big enough tree for us to... For it to hold the rope and our weight. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? What? Oh. Not it's always funny because I'm behind you. It's always funny to hear you be frustrated by something I can't see yet. <laughs> I tried to use the rope, but instead April picked it up. Oh, April. <laughs> it's like, no, I want you to go down. Uh Oh, okay, there's a platform. This is actually cool. I like the oh, silhouette. I don't like it. it. Looks like something would hatch from it, and I don't well, like it. Okay, yeah, that. I I just like the silhouetted April here. Big nests, once housing mutilation, but now empty and in disrepair. She knows like everything that's going on here immediately. Yeah, it's really weird. Like, I don't know she how always she been knows. like this, or is it just as we go I along, know. it just seems to get more and more. Yeah, I don't remember I feel like she knew her. nothing for a while, and now she just knows everything. I mean, she gave us a lot of information about, like, Stark stuff. But that's because she lived there, and it made sense that she knew it. It made sense. Yeah. 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 There's a piece amongst the rubble that looks like a bolt or a key. It's intact. Okay, pick up the bolt or key. The remains of a stone structure that probably fell down. That's a Marum city. Hmm. It's a deserted Marum city. She was like there for like five minutes. <laughs> I mean, I think she saw more of the city than we did, kind of. Hmm. So I think her at least being like saying this is a city is that's useful. I think that makes sense. Um, we just kind of saw it from a distance, and then the interior of one thing because they did. Yeah, but she more. said, "Did she say uh, it's a uh, Miriam City rather than saying it looks like a?" Well, yeah, that's true. That's that's but... that's what I take. I take you know is the fact that it's like she talks like she knows about the thing she's saying, and it's like it's okay to write that she's guessing, like that we like just like yeah. we are. Uh, oh wait, I guess we can go use it on that first one. Let's see here, so we got, yeah, we got this key. Let's try it on this one, see what happens. She's just very confident. She is very confident. I mean, well, sometimes she's very confident. When the game needs her to be. <laughs> when the plot needs oh, her to this be. Let's just do this. I mean, I think she's, like, she's not confident about herself, or, like, when it's something that she thinks about. I mean, it's the confidence of someone who is, like, young, where, like, she could be very insecure about herself, but there are things she doesn't even think about as an issue of confidence. She's just like, well, yeah, of course it's like this. What do you mean? Because it, it just doesn't even occur to her. Uh, so this, you can turn this. What does this mean? Is this actually being reflected? No. Okay, I thought it was going to change something up top, which is not. What... No, it is changing things up top. Okay. The bottom half of the statue depicts a large-eared creature listening intently. The top half of the statue. Depicts okay. 
So probably we need to, oh, we probably need to point it at where the other one's coming from, and then we're going to, like, I don't know. I don't actually, I don't know. I'm assuming we're, it's like a, a weird sound relay thing. Is kind of my assumption here. I'm looking at the universal hints and I don't see this mentioned at all. So I'm wondering if this is much, if this is later. Okay, I'm going to leave that there because that seems like where it should be. But also there's probably some, something more specific. Like a real sailor. Arr, no, maybe. I wasn't trying to click on you, April. This, I, I just read, like, technically what we're supposed to do now, and it's, it's horrible adventure game stuff, where it's just like, oh it feels boy. like I would be stuck on this for hours, and then, yeah. Nah. It's like, okay, uh, thanks. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to So did you get two, or did you just take that one out of the other one and put it in there? Yes, the latter. Okay. Because it just turns it. Uh, okay, that seems like it's roughly correct. Uh, but I don't know what the point of this is. Um, well, is there somewhere else we can go that I'm missing? No. Um, or do I need to deal with the crap? There is somewhere else we can go that you've already clicked on. However... To get there, you need to click another thing that you have in your inventory. What? I, where else can we go? The jungle. Oh, we can actually get to the jungle. I can get lost if I just wander oh, around the jungle. oh, no so... Looks like or where I'm heading. I guess we need to... Wait, do we just need to... I'll save it for when I really uh, need it. Okay. Okay. I'll save it for when I really mm. need it. So we, she needs some way to like see the jungle from a distance or from up high or something. Is what it That's what the dialogue sounds like. Yeah, the dialogue doesn't help you at all. So congrats, dialogue. Oh. Okay, well. Well, I mean, then you're going to have to just help me, because I don't know what else. If, if yeah, I don't have any should... actual guidance. <laughs> uh, you should use the use crow whistle on the jungle. Oh, okay. I guess that actually, that is kind of along the lines. I just forgot that we can summon crow. That is basically a lot of what he does is just like we at, we call him and ask him about what's <laughs> we, we, to yeah, fly But around. when you don't know what else to do, you're like, uh, just call crow. Well, I mean, in specifically, we have him fly around a lot and like give us the lay of the land. I just forget that he exists if we haven't used him. God, I love the little like, paper animation. <laughs> <laughs> I T. Soaking wet. Oh, he hadn't seen us Where since we went underwater. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he didn't seem too bothered that we might be dead. Uh, he, he was somewhat concerned. Oh my god, Crow. Yeah, uh, I thought, oh great, we have to summon Crow. Hmm. <laughs> to listen to Crow. <laughs> Glad to see you haven't lost the gift of the gab, Crow. Lady, you have no idea how limited bird Twitter can be. It's all hi this and here I am that all damn day long. Bird Twitter. Bird Twitter. <laughs> this Twitter for birds. I never know when you're gonna go a wall on me again. I had a little adventure under the sea. Oh, I didn't know humans had gills. We don't. Well, I do. I think. At least I can breathe underwater now. Cool. Not as cool as being able to fly, of course, but still. Hey, does that mean you're a mermaid? 
hardly. I don't have a tail. I mean, she can technically fly. What did you do after I saw you last? Mm, for a limited well, time. It took a while. Yeah. Me, but I found land. Not this island, just a rock with a couple of trees, basically. But when I went back to tell you, you disappeared. I thought you'd gone bonkers from thirst and hunger and drowned yourself or something, so I decided I'd better find solid ground myself or I'd suffer the same fate. And then I found this place. Nice, isn't it? And the best part is, there are no hunters. Only a bunch of big crabs on the east side of the island and a volcano. I'm gonna walk around for a bit, Crow. I'll just stay here and cream myself, thank you very much. What can you tell me about the island, Crow? Only what I've been able to see from above. There's a volcano, dead I think, and lots of jungle. <laughs> crow! I love the little crow like <laughs> icon. <laughs> crow jungle! I'd like to explore the jungle, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get lost. Any ideas? Well, I could stay airborne and keep track of where you are. That way I could direct you if... Sorry, when you get lost. Sounds like a super plan, Crow. Let's go. <laughs> Why do we need this CG cutscene every time of uh, <laughs> Crow flying up and down? I don't know why they yes. they just don't have like the a side view animation of him coming in. I have in. no idea. They were like, we paid good money to get the CG animation. We're gonna use it as many times as possible. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a face. <laughs> This animation! Because the scene is totally static. I mean, they're just like shaking a static background. Just like they did in cartoons! Sorry, yes. I was gonna say more, but... They're just letting her talk. Um, yeah, but then with a 3D model over top of it. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks like... It basically looks like she's been green screened in. <laughs> like it, it's just, it's such a funny, like, not something I would expect to see in a video game. Uh, I'm sure we've had scenes like this before. Probably. Uh, uh, what? April, Back I out. said look. I said look. Listen, if I saw that big mouth, I'd jump in it too. <laughs> small eye-sized aperture with the crystal in it like a lens maybe some kind of telescope what a strange symbol it's a keyhole i can't parse what i'm looking at is she looking down is she looking up into his eye like i don't I understand think this is the eyes standing in the ruins okay. of the city A statue on a cliff overlooking the okay city. okay so we need to set to these symbols probably I don't see anything interesting I don't see anything interesting I don't see anything interesting it's a statue just below a really tall tree okay I'm gonna probably have to write these fucking down <laughs> and get out some paper I can't see this part in the the hint, so it's like so weird. Uh, okay. So this is a statue just below a really tall tree. Tall this tree. Island, this island must have weird pathing and what you've got to do because yeah. I don't see anything interesting. Somebody's looking back at me. Oh. Wait, that's just my eye. The lens okay. is turned into a mirror. Statue. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's like the head symbol. <laughs> Love how it has to rumble every time. I don't see anything interesting. It's a statue standing in the okay. ruins of a city. City. Ruins. I can see a statue on a cliff. And this is the, the cliff. Sea. 
This is like just a big, big old, big old peeping telescope. Uh, something. Yeah. How do I get out of here? There we go. Uh, oh, can I not go anywhere it's else from here? Of a tree. It's got to be at least 100 meters tall. And what's that in the tree crown? Looks like a man-made construction. That's a huge tree. There's a large object in the tree crown. Uh, okay. I guess that's all you go from here. Okay. So right now, we just get to deal with this shit. Oh, we can also go to the large tree now. Tiana, what Ooh. are you doing? Tiana? Oh, here's the big tree. The bottom half of the statue depicts a creature listening, while the top part ah, that's a big tree. creature calling out. Ear. Dry twigs and sticks. <laughs> Dried twigs and sticks. Well, we could probably use a Dried stick right now. If you'd let me pick one of these up. What? Oh. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Okay, big tree is the five symbol. Oh, but it's not gonna. Oh boy. It's a I see. Hole, like a keyhole. Of course. Of course. Okay, no, it is on here at least. Phew. Uh, I hope this does something. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't. No. What? That's. You, you didn't do something. What do I need to fucking do? I was uh, waiting for you to go back. It's okay. Okay. Is there anything else I can do with these things? I, like I said, I I didn't. Unless they're for like a relay or quest, I, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, well, was something you saw? Oh, there's something in the jungle. The... Yeah, you, the screen you were just on, all you did was look. Uh, you, you did the thing with the stat. You didn't look anywhere else on 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 the jungle in that screen. I, I mean, I looked at all the branches and shit. I didn't think there was anything else I could interact with. Well, it says there is, but also I saw things that you could interact with. So well, maybe I can go try. Maybe. I scanned my cursor over, but I might have missed it because it's hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Large or okay. Well, these oh are like God. every time we have to watch April run somewhere. It's like Thanks these game. are not dry twigs and sticks. These are not dry no, twigs look, and look sticks. Look to the right. Look to the the right. They're dry people. Talk sticks. to them. I I yeah. She just says they're dry twigs and sticks every time. Why can't she talk to them? I don't know. She do I need to? Go? Oh my God. What was it you clicked? I don't see it. I just walked over there. I know there's somebody there. I heard you. What? What? She? What? Is she gone? Nope. I'm still around. <laughs> I'm so okay. baffled by this. You won't come out, I'll just sit what the fuck, April? Sooner or later, you'll I guess they're trying to ignore her. Like they're trying to like just just yeah, just but be cool, be cool. That's that's not what I'm confused about. I'm confused about the fact that April can't tell. She's like, who's out there? Show yourselves. It's like, they're right there, April! <laughs> what, what the fuck, April? Big <laughs> person alert. What are you? What does it look like? Um, a talking twig? We're stick men. And you're an accident waiting to happen with your large, ungainly body and wobbly legs. What's a stick man? Unlucky bugger doomed to a miserable life of stiff backs and monotonous drudgery in the shadow of a mother tree. Happy little fella, ain't ya? Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I uh, the statues are a thing. I mean, not right now, but they, are, they are a thing. It's just I didn't read far enough. I mean, I obviously they were going to be a puzzle. 
I was just very confused because Zero Hits is still laid out very weird. Usually it's very concise and clear, but this was mm -hmm. kind of weird. What's that constant rumbling noise? Lady, you have no idea what we have to endure. All day, all night, that noise is just murder. It all started when Quaman, the quiet giant, would you believe that's what we used to call him, was banished by the Olawal from his perfect fishing place to some remote place in the forest. Whoa, information overload. Let's step back for a minute to fill in the details. Who's Quaman, the quiet giant? He's the scariest human we've ever seen. He stands tall as a mountain and uses whole trees for toothpicks. But he was the quiet type and reasonably Does he seem like a human? For a human. I'm gonna assume he was like six feet tall. By the Olawal village, catching <laughs> fish and frying fish and eating fish. And looking Wait, April's not like short. <laughs> women or no, I still think she's particularly tall. Who are the Olawal? They're the crab-like creatures who live down by the sea. Ah, oh, they're nice people, if a little crabby. Just a second. It's hard to understand what they're saying half the time. Sorry. Okay. What happened to get the quiet giant banished from that place? The Aura Wall got scared when he accidentally stepped on one of their young ones. He didn't do any real harm, but they banished him from their village nonetheless and told him to go yeah. far into the forest. That would be away. frightening. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the forest east of here, we don't know where exactly. He went there to get as far away from the aura wall as possible. So what does all this have to do with the rumbling noise? Oh, I was getting to that. If you just let me get a word in edgewise. I just had some questions is all right. Anyway, Quaman is the brooding type. And he takes everything so to heart, he got instantly depressed and went to sleep. And what is he doing now? Th that's... that's the yep. But how long ago was it that the Orlawal banished him? The last full moon, nearly 30 sunsets passed. He's been sleeping for a month? He was depressed. This guy's the biggest mood. How was that pronounced? Oh, 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 oh. And let me tell you, those how are they pronouncing that word? Uh, when they say it again, I'll tell you. Okay. I still don't understand what this has to do with the rumbling noise. See that statue over there? That's big mood. Sure. What's up with that? <laughs> Sleeping for years would be the happiest. <laughs> Ages ago, they put these statues up all around the island so that they could speak with each other. You're kidding. So they're like telephones? Tell a what? I don't know what that is. The thing is, these statues are all connected through magic. Mm -hmm. And when you speak into one, your voice flies through the air and comes out of another statue. But I still don't understand. You saw the big head up by the mountain. Yes? That's the one they use to talk to everyone on the island, to warn people of storms or to hold evening prayer. It's connected to the statues as well. And Quaman is sleeping right next to a statue's ear. I get it. Resonance. Oh, there he is. Snoring and the deep bass reverberating through the loudspeaker, the big head, causes a resonance that vibrates the entire island. But... I, I don't know what the perspective is. Like, I can't, like, April needs to stand next to him in order to know how tall he actually is. There's water and fire and monkeys. Monkeys like to play with sticks. We don't like monkeys. But can't you just, well, send your voice to his tele statue to wake him up? There are four problems with that. Number one, all the statues have an assigned symbol, an identifying mark. But we don't know which his is. Second, most of the uh, statues are broken in some way or another. What do you mean? Some statues can only talk to certain other statues. Some can't be spoken to, and some can't hear. Which makes it very difficult to get a connection through to where you want to send your voice. Number three, in order to use the statues, uh, we need a key. Boy. We don't have it. 
We don't know where it is. Yeah, I started reading the uh, how, how to do this puzzle, and instantly, within like two sentences of the paragraphs, I was like, "Oh boy, I couldn't parse it at all." I was like, "I'm sure those words do mean something." Uh, Theo, is he screaming? Is he in the trash? I'm laying with Rosa. Rosa was screaming. Is he doing a bite on Rosa? I think that's what's happening. Uh, there's more talk about, buddy. Where do the Elation live? The Elation? The guys with wings? Up in the volcano. There's an old city in there. I think they're squatting. Um, also, to have, you should listen to these guys' voices for a little bit. Cause... I don't know if I want to. They look like the kind of creatures in which the the voices would be not pleasant to my ears. Oh, they basically just talk like. Um. It reminds me of like an old timey gangster or something. They're like. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if like they're from like Boston or something, and they're like, man. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a or real New York, choice. I guess. Or New York. Yeah, yeah, something. I, it's not like a specific accent. It's just like the the, you know, the like tone of their voice and like the yeah that like. It's not specific. Uh like inflections of words it's just the overall uh yeah uh okay so that oh, i won't boy. tell you to solve it but i can if you haven't do, do you grasp what the statues do i mean yeah they, they talk to things but the, okay they said but they, they're telephones they all... right you can hear things Okay, the other oh part is that God. they need to listen. So yeah, the, the yeah. two statues they speak and they listen. Thanks, matey. Brothers, I can only do useless stuff like calculations and design, and I play a few instruments, and I'm writing a book on the floor I'm fawn of. <laughs> this guy has a like nasally like nevish voice <laughs> mm, yeah i can i can i can envision it. like oh i can only like yeah. listen like <laughs> like from like an 80s movie with narrative yeah oh my god the, yeah this guy just has like he's a stick man a fucking like godfather voice <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is wild. What is okay, so how do I actually use this fucking thing, though? Because you need to, like, talk into it. Right, so you need some of the telephones to listen and some and a telephone. You need the right. telephones to listen and want them to speak. No, I know, but I don't even know how to speak into a telephone. <laughs> I, I... Do you know what I mean? Uh... I, like, I don't know what to actually interact with, because I can't... You can't interact okay. with... You can interact with the ears. Well, maybe I can interact with, like, the just, mouth. There's literally a separate whole other thing for this. So. Let me see. No. The the yeah, I can't interact with the it. mouth. Well, I can't interact with the ears here, even. Okay. I'm confused. I guess... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, I... I just reading this is so hard to parse. Like... I mean, I'm going to just mess with around with them for a little bit, but we might actually have to pull up a regular walkthrough because it'll probably just tell you directly what to do. Hello? Okay, there we go. We can talk to this one. Doesn't seem like it's working. I don't know why we can't talk to the other ones. Because you only need one. You only need one to talk into. The other ones listen. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So you, you need, there's three stat, there's three telephones? There's three, well, there's technically four, because there's wherever the giant is, but we don't know what the symbol of the giant is. And also, I don't think it came up when I was looking through them. So I think, 
to the telescope. The, the one, the one with the stickmen are is the one that l listens to you talk to, and the other two have to listen to it or or talk from a oh, fuck. I told you it's hard to parse. Yeah, well, we'll try. I guess that I can see. Okay. I the see. markings so tell each statue need... what to listen to and what to talk to. Okay. But those markings don't mean anything to me. Like, I'm looking at them and I'm... No, I mean, I have them written down. Okay. So... Okay, so that makes sense. So right now, if I had them set to what I was doing, they would just uh, be listening to themselves, because I have them set to themselves. So, um... But this is what they're talking to. Oh, okay, okay. So there's like, yeah, so the bottom I... one is listening, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the top one is the mouth. I think so I, I actually guess that's understand. Talking. Okay. So you may only want one of them to listen and not talk, or you want the very first one that she talks into to listen? Oh, fuck, I don't no, know. It's, I, it's, I think it's... I got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if I can go for it then, because I got it. I, have no I mean, idea. the problem is I still don't know what the output is but we kind of we yeah. can't change the output yeah it's so we yeah. just kind of have to assume that one of these is the right output but we can change what they're listening to okay so let's go look at where this one is going and this one is going oh that's nowhere though it's a creature with a big mouth that's Frustrating. Let me go back and look at the other one. Wish these weren't so far apart. Adventure games. I feel like Mist really figured out how to do these kind of puzzles well. Uh, because that's all the game is. I think, I feel like I'm the only person in the Thumbs community who has never played Mist. I'm sure there's a lot of people that haven't played Mist. I'm just an adventure game person, so... I used to play tons of adventure games as a kid, but that one just seemed like... too much. I mean, it is a different kind, like it is a different, like, yeah. subject. That one felt like an adventure game for adults, and not because it's, like, R-rated, but because, like... <laughs> It, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean though. Like it, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's like a puzzle game. It's not really. A... That's what it was. It's exactly why I hated it. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. We don't know where this one is going. Okay. Interesting. We have no idea. But we could say. We'll need to go to one of them. I guess. Interesting. It's a creature with large ears. I mean, it's going to something, but we don't know where it's going. Well, this doesn't actually matter. This is what it's listening to. Large ears. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, my head. I hate. I hate this puzzle already. Problem is, it's it's really hard to kind of evaluate results so far. Also, God, this takes forever. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! I found a website that has the puzzle thing, but that's not. What it looks like the website was done in GeoSites. I can see a statue on a cliff over in fact, the website's called Game Boomers, so that's hilarious. But oh. literally, it looks like it, all the font is written in Comic Sans. I've seen Game Boomers. Yeah, I don't remember what it looks like, but I, I'm familiar with the. See anything interesting? It's a statue just below a really tall tree. Okay, do you want me to like tell me when you want me to just read out what to do? Somebody if you want that. Because oh, I now do have a, a thing that, that tells you what to do. It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. This is weird because I, I don't know. Overlooking the sea. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. Yeah, there's no, um... Hmm. It's That's weird that the statue where the... Tree. ...guy is does not show up in this thing. Maybe it's already set to listen to whatever one it is. I guess. I mean, it's... Well, it's like... 
that thing is you you turn it to each symbol and it's and you can look through the basically the telescope and see the symbol or see the statue or nothing and so i wrote down the only symbols that actually see something everything else is there's nothing interesting and the one where the guy is doesn't show up in that list which means we don't know what the symbol is but it also means you can't see it from there which is kind of weird um so this is speaking to this mouth or this the mouth is speaking to this one which is also not this is there a oh is there another key um i don't think so there's no there's just the one i think there's just one okay because yeah. this is a talk or a hearing key and i there must conceptually there must be a talking key that turns the talking one but we may not have it may not like be something in the game because we can't turn the talking disc so we don't have to Are change you sure? that. I mean, yes. I, I put the key in. Can you not turn it the other way, and it would turn the, the up? I saw you turn the top one before. No. Oh, what? Ex okay, you can't do this on the other ones. You can do it on this one, apparently. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I. Okay, so we want to go to that the cliff, probably. Oh god, this is actually way worse. <laughs> because... Oh, but we don't know where the cliff is. Uh, shoot. Oh, okay. So that's the cliff. So it's... Okay, that is the right one. Oh god, this is so annoying. Wait, so it's it's talking to the cliff. It's going to listen to the tall tree. Probably is what we should do. Do we not have tall tree on here? Because it's missing. It is. Okay, great. I don't know what, which order the symbols are in. God, this is annoying as hell. Uh, we also don't know... Okay. Hmm. So I put this in here. Oh, I can't turn it this way. Okay, I don't know. Talking to... God, I need to, like, write down basically the order <laughs> compiled from all of these different broken ones. Which right? is really not... I could also tell you the answer, but I guess you want to see if you can figure it out first. I mean, I, I conceptually see, I think, how most of it is figured out. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so... Oop, what happened? There we go. It's a triangular hole. Oh, I know Underhill. what it is. April. Okay. Wait, does this actually go the same direction? Yeah, it does. It's a triangular hole. Okay. Like a keyhole. Triangular hole, like a keyhole. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Okay, let's pick 
this up. I guess this is probably the order that's on the this thing. Let me go check. Apologize for adventure game puzzle bullshit. <laughs> Galaxy Brain Sea Wolf over here doing this puzzle. But like, th this is like the sort of thing if like I was a kid and, and, and you know, we knew each other, we were friends, I would make you do all of the puzzles in my games. Mm -hmm. Or I would just make you play the game over watch it so that I wouldn't have to play it. Like right now! Don't even have to be children. Just be yeah, fucking adults playing video there, games yeah. on the internet. Okay. That's the order. We have the full order. We still don't know where, uh, where the guy is. But we can talk into this one. Okay, so if we want to talk into this one and talk to... Let's try talking to the city ruins. That's... It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. That's right there. So if we do this. Hello. Actually, it doesn't seem like the statue's receiving my voice at all. Really? Does it need to be set to listen to itself to talk? I guess that might make sense. I cannot participate in this. Like my, I have small brain, you have galaxy brain, it is uh, <laughs> not compatible. Okay, let's try that. Hello? Okay, that works. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't seem like it's working. I mean, yes, it is working, April. You're just... Well, I'm pretty sure it's working. It's listening to itself and talking to City Ruins. City Ruins. Uh, I guess we set it to the cliff, maybe? Probably, I don't actually still know where stuff is supposed to go because we don't know where ultimately we need to go. Well, but, does the, uh, the little peephole thing, doesn't that have, doesn't it show you the volcano? The telescope? Because that's where he is, right? Yeah. No. That was what I was saying earlier. It says, I wrote down the ones where she says something for them. Everything else is, it's nothing interesting. And the four ones she says are the tall tree, the city ruins, the cliff, and the statue. Hmm. Or not the statue but the the head uh i can t do you want a hint yeah sure um the ruins uh that's where okay you know that is that is that the one that you that's start where I'm at? at right now okay the ruins. um the lore wheel. Uh, uh, okay, I guess you're doing the lore wheel shenanigans. Like, uh, have you made it listen? Uh, I have not turned it to. I was gonna okay. turn it to the tall tree. Okay, turn it to the tall tree. Okay. So I, it's gonna be like while I wait for you to do it, so I can see it visually. Okay. Uh. See what you're trying to is different than what I have here. So, but I can so, tell you that the top one, the mouth, you have to move. 
to the volcano head image. Because it's supposed to... I'm guessing she's speaking and the others are listening and then it's going to come really loud out the one that she's speaking into. Okay. Huh. That's, that's the best I can visualize it. Oh, the volcano head isn't here on this one. Oh, mean? there it is. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you went all the way around. I didn't realize. I mean, yeah, so this would go back up to the top. I wonder if... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the jungle... Does the jungle maybe need to talk... Or the, the big tree need to talk to the cliff? Because they said some stuff just doesn't work. Hello? I mean... I, I just want you to try, like, you have to let me know when you are, are done trying it, because I don't want to give you any more. All right, I don't so... want to give you any more if you want to, like, <laughs> feel, feel like you want to solve the puzzle. Listening here. Let's try talking to the cliff, I guess. Oh, but it's not set to be listening to that, so this probably won't work. Hello? Oh. Doesn't seem like it's working. Okay, but it cut to that. So let's go set this one. Maybe it needs to go to the cliff, and then the cliff needs to go to the ruins. Because I'm assuming we need to use all of them. And it's what you did this weekend, Sea Wolf. What? I'm trying to make conversation. What are you doing this weekend? Oh. Uh, you know. We're going to play. Just doing a streaming? Yeah. We're going to play U4. Oh, shit. We are playing U4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. We're doing the 8 o'clock, right? Mm, I think we're doing it at uh, the earlier 5 o'clock. Oh, exactly. Uh, cause I was, I'm, I'm gonna be at Nicole's watching a movie. <laughs> oh right, I didn't realize we decided five. Oh, Fiona, okay, well. Well, I'm going to be at Nicole's at one, but like. Okay, I can make it home for five. <laughs> okay, tall tree, talk to the ruins. Well, I didn't, I, I, we just said Eve, I've. Figured this and also was able to make it. it. We'll, we'll see how things go. I mean, I might, it might be fine. Just, yeah. Ruins. Yeah, those are the ruins. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah, I just got confused because last week we played at eight, right? I'm not. We did, not yes, and that just it happened. says D D thing wasn't working, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Cause I we wasn't weren't... on. Sorry. Yeah. I think that's why I didn't think about it. I just. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, so this goes to uh, listening it to the ruins. So then are we only doing five to seven or five to half seven? Like how much time does Sonoso need before he goes to his D and D eight? None. Oh okay, is it it's, it's completely online, he's not Yeah, yeah. He's not I mean this is why we, we were doing Fall from Heaven it, or part of why we were doing Fall from Heaven. Right, it, right. As well. Um Okay. Hello? Okay, it's not getting to that part. Okay, so let's go check. I do like that it at least gives you feedback on yes, if it's working yes. or not. Yes, now I, it's, <laughs> I, I get feedback, so that's good. Um, 
So it didn't seem like it was going to here. Or it was it was going to here. It definitely comes out here. It just isn't yeah, getting through. Yeah, it works there. I don't think you should be changing that one. I think it's just the ruins one you've got to change. Well, I want to make sure this is actually pointed at the right, at the ruins. Oh, okay. But, whoops. I, I thought it was because it. then it cut to the ruins, like, it tra the sound had transferred across. Yeah, this is set. Okay. Oh my god, where's the fucking exit? Why is the exit here so hard to hit? I'm looking at the thing now, so when you go to the runes, don't click on it too fast. Let me look at the pictures. Okay. I mean, so the bottom needs to be... The... Well, I don't know how to describe that, but... Oh. Volcano. Hmm? No, yeah, what top you can hide is it. a volcano. Is no, bottom is a volcano. No, top is a volcano, yeah. Okay, so oh yeah, this the, is on the wrong one. Yeah, the upper no, the upper wheel is a volcano. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You've got yeah, to change yeah. the lower one. Yeah, yeah, the lower one is incorrect. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's on that. Okay, there we go. That's Cliff. I nearly broke into uh, uh, the Heathcliff song. The the um, what's the, my brain just farted. What's the singer? Who's the singer you always send me links and tweets about because I like her and I'm a... uh, in my so Wuthering Heights. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember her name. Why is it just completely... Kate Bush? Kate Bush, yeah. I call it the Heathcliff song because that's uh -huh. that's she says it in the song and I always forget uh -huh. what the song is called. Was her song in the movie? Like, was that a song uh, for the movie? Or did she just... I don't know. <laughs> I guess you're the wrong person to ask. <laughs> hey. Wake up. This is very funny. Oh, it'd be good if they had an uh, animation, just all the birds leaving the island or something. <laughs> just a fucking, like, loudspeaker to the whole island if you pointed at the, the main head. It is not configured for us to talk back. Or to hear, rather. Oh good, okay, we didn't hear. He's just talking. Uh, wait. <laughs> you were about to get angry at the puzzle. You made me do that puzzle and then it didn't even matter because it could just do something it wasn't supposed to do. Uh, I, I stopped the rumbling, guys. Oh, I can climb the tree now? Wait, could I always climb the tree? Ugh. Why, why is our crossbow there? I wonder who built it and what it's for. It's a wooden crossbow. I like that she says it's a wooden crossbow, as if most crossbows <laughs> are not made of wood. I mean, now they're not made of wood. I guess the ones she's familiar with wouldn't be made of wood. But like, would they even still make? Like, would she? Would she have even seen a crossbow? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I would guess they're about as common as they are today. So you just see, like, weird recreational crossbows that people have. I think you need to talk in the statue again. Just before you... Oh, okay. We didn't... Ah, oh, okay. Kwaman? You, 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 you rang him and he picked up the telephone. <laughs> but we did... We, it's not configured for us to, for us to hear him. <laughs> I'm God. Okay, there. He's pretty big. April. Where are you, 
that be a secret? Quaman wants to be left alone. Can you please stop snoring? Quaman be snoring? No one ever tell Quaman mm. he be snoring. But then Quaman always be sleeping <laughs> by his lonesome. No woman like Quaman. Don't say that about yourself, Mom, and I'm sure that, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable to be discussing this in a public like this. Yes, everyone be hearing about Quaman now. You want to talk about your problems? Face to face? This system does not make any sense. What be the point? <laughs> I'm a good listener, and I'd like to be your friend. That'd be the point. Wama, not sure if he want friend now. <laughs> Please. Can you be your friend? Why? Please let me be your friend. <laughs> um. Because the stick men didn't want it rumbling, and I decided to help them because... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Quamen be your friend, and talk to you. My secret place be in the ruins of the old temple, by the well. Follow the stream up from the rock beach, and go right where it branches. Anyway, I hope the whole island is happy to know where you are. <laughs> this is a great view! Why, why, why put a thing in the foreground? He's very tall. He's very tall. He, he is pretty tall. I'm mean, just like, why put a thing in the foreground? It just obscures her head. That was a choice someone made. Phone booths. They must have been popular in their time. That's Quammon, the not so quiet giant. Oh, you can actually walk down here. It's a deep well with cold, brackish water and some seriously demented albino fish. Excuse me? It's another one of those statues. You are big. You're just about the biggest person I've ever met. Quaman be a freak. No one be liking him. I didn't mean it that way. I just meant... Hey, Bo. You know just what to say, don't you? I'm sorry. I like tall guys. Really, I do. You be the only one, then. Because no one else want anything to do with Quaman. So this is just a guy? I don't know, like... I thought his ears looked like they were kind of elven, like, or elfin, like, pointy, as if you were, like, a, an orc yeah, or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, he does a little bit, maybe. It's hard to tell. How did you come to be on this island? That be a long story. Oh boy. Do you want Quaman to be telling you? Fiona's gonna be excited. Sure, I have time. Tell me the story. <laughs> Shut up. Long moons ago, Quaman be happy. He be working at the Circa in Corazon, where he be big attraction. What did you do? Quaman be the world's strongest man. He be popular. People come to see him from all the Northlands. Some. Even from east of the Bay of Fire. But then there be an accident. And the circuit tell Quaman to leave. That he be dangerous. And that no one be paying to see him anymore. What kind of accident? Quaman's most popular feat be the breaking of large rocks with his fist. Everyone would applaud when the rock be breaking. Then one day... The Kala be at the Circa to see the performers. He be saying, Quaman, 
I hear of him breaking a large rock with his fist. This I want to see, but my performance be over that day, and there be no rock to break. So the Circa Ringmaster Obron, he be saying, let's get a rock in here, any big rock at all. So they bring in this rock that Kwama never be crushing before. Kwama not be sure if it is a good idea, because rock can be dangerous when it breaks. But Obron be saying, this you must do. The Caliph wants to see. We do not disappoint the Caliph of Khorasan, or we lose our heads. So Kwaman break the rock, and when it breaks... What, what happened? There'll be large pieces of rock flying everywhere, and one piece be hitting the Caliph and one his son. The Caliph be not seriously hurt, but his son be unconscious and bleeding from the head. They say to Kwaman, run, get away from the Circa and Khorasan, or the Caliph will have his head. What a shitty employer he had. Yeah. We get passage on ship leaving that night. When the ship passed this island, Kwaman be jumping into sea and swimming ashore. And now he be here. What happened between you and the Orlawal? Oh, Orlawal. Kwaman be so close. Orlawal. So dangerous. He should not be among people. He be only hurting them. The Orlawal be kind. Letting Kwaman live and fish in their village. But then Kwaman be stepping over a young Orlawal. Almost breaking his shell. The Orlawal tell Kwaman to leave village, to not come back because he may kill an Orwal. They tell him to go as far away as possible. Kwaman be sad because he is the Orwal, and because Kwaman be having the best fishing place in all of Elias. He loses friends and his food. Oh, the place where April was like, this would be a great fish fishing spot. <laughs> but the fish that live down there be small and not very tasty. Would you like to move back to the Orlawal village? Oh, yes. Kwaman be wishing that more than anything in the world. I saw an Orlawal down by the beach, just outside the village. It seemed to be in pain, but I didn't know what to do. Perhaps if you come along, you can help him out and get back in favor with the Orlawal people. Yes. Perhaps Kwaman can help, even if the Olawal do not want him back. Here it is, the, uh, Orlawal? Can you help it? Perhaps Kwaman can help. Poor Olawal. He'd be crying for help. Uh, Kwaman see what be wrong. The Olawal not shed its shell when time come, and now it be stuck in the shell. Why didn't the other Orlawal come to its assistance? Their claws be no good for this work. They be... No. Oh. But Kwaman help. Kwaman be good with his hands. Kwaman be happy. Kwaman accept your graceful thanks, sir. Thank you. You be making Kwaman very happy. Kwaman accept your what? offer and be grateful to the Orlawal people. Thank Did he much. help him? I guess? I thought the problem was he needed to get a new shell. I thought he was yeah, going to take too. the shell off. inviting Kwaman to stay on the cliff above the village where he can fish again. <laughs> very, very happy. With uh, too much for the budget, <laughs> I guess. language be easy to understand. It be just click and clack and clock. I'm so happy for you, Kwaman. Go on, don't let me hold you back. I have no idea how any of this is related to the relations. Uh, well, yeah, the same. I guess we just have island lore. Uh, it's like, okay, it's great that we're helping people, but like, we were supposed to be here to talk to the relations. And uh, we have not seen them yet. <laughs> And we talked, we asked the stickmen about them, and they're like, oh yeah, they live in a village up in the volcano. Hey, 
salmon. How's the fish biting? With its teeth? But not today. Why is that? Quaman be not certain. The fish always bite before. <laughs> but then Quaman be having lure. Now no lure. Just just, we gotta give him a fucking lure? Yeah. What do you need to make a lure? Do you want a head? can make lure with just anything. As long as it be colorful and not get heavy. I water. hope something we already have. You're a real DIY guy, don't you know? There's your head then. Always be something wrong with Quaman. That was actually a compliment. Oh. Oh. He thinks he said. Quaman be happy. <laughs> he be wanting fish to bite. But if they do not Look, he's still happy. He'll figure out how to make a lure. <laughs> Fishing rod. Quaman must catch fish first. So he oh, we need the fishing rod for something. Catch fish. April can borrow fish. I don't know what we need it for, but uh. Adventure Thank game! You. Yeah. Uh. I mean, this looks good. Could this wrapper work as a lure? Yes. Yes, with some work. It'd be perfect for a lure. Now Quaman can make one, and hopefully catch many fish. Hello, Quaman. Hello, April. Happy fishing. Thank you. Hello, Quaman. Hello, April. Happy fishing. God damn it. Thank you. What? Do we need to, like, wait for him to fucking catch some fish? Uh, go do something go, else. I can I can tell you where to go next. Mm -hmm. Um, go examine the crossbow. Oh, now I need to go to the crossbow. Yeah, I still don't where know why because I haven't read further on. But I'm like, okay, adventure game. Yeah, it's a lot less motivated than. Uh... Like last week, even. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this, kinda... this is like a, a bit of a puzzle. There's just kind of stuff a lot here of puzzles. without. It's a wood well, puzzle. it's. There's stuff here without, like, knowing why we should be there's, doing yeah, any of it. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Uh, I mean, I could examine it's it. Just... Yeah. I don't know. There's nothing to do with it. There, there should be an examine. Uh, you should see it's missing something. Uh... So it might be, uh, you gotta click on something that's... Examine something small. I, I don't, uh... Yeah, I'm not finding anything. Maybe this is go, go to the top here. and examine the crossbow. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Elation Village. Okay, are we shooting ourselves in this crossbow? Well, a... Are we shooting ourselves? Well, so there's a path across from the it's where the crossbow is pointed. Right. So what do you think you need? Uh, fucking, I don't know. I have no idea how this crossbow is a thing. It's like it's like uh, uh, if you fire the crossbow and it's got something attached to it, it will create a an arrow. Like we fire an arrow that's got attached to something, and you're firing it into like a wall. A rope. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, go talk to the stickman. Okay. I figured she, April would say something yeah. like. Yeah. She doesn't. Uh... I guess it's a bolt. It's a crossbow, but. Oh, Who you can ask about the crossbow in the tree. I did. Well, I thought of it. And these two nincompoops gave a helping twig on the uh, manual side. So they built it and you supervised. Yep. But it's not Oh, uh, okay. There are still a few pieces missing before we can blast off for Luna. You say blast off for the room. <laughs> also, this is an island for like puzzles that are kind of as disjointed room, as well. So it's like not just no puzzles are disjointed and the the, the plot is yes. kind of like meh. Mm -hmm. You guys are loonies. 
If by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes we are. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why. We stopped the noise. Let's move back to the Orlowal village. He's not going to disturb you again, trust me. Really? How the heck did that happen? Nah, I don't care. The important mm, thing okay. is we can work again. Thanks, lady. Here they go. Very <laughs> <laughs> slowly working their way. Go. Oh my god. Oh god, I've touched the other one's go to Jesus. <laughs> oh. So they're trying to use it to shoot themselves in the space, so we're definitely shooting mm -hmm. ourselves with it across the kids. <laughs> To mm -hmm. the path. I mean, this is a classic, uh, you know, we, we just got to get a pot on our head. Uh, mm -hmm. Like Monkey Island. <laughs> I'd be happy to talk to you later, but I got some fine tuning to do before I'm done. Can't talk. Busy. How's it going? Almost there. Oh, uh, one tiny little problem, though. And that is? We don't have a bowstring for our... Uh, uh, propulsion Loki, drive Loki, mechanism. Loki, please? Uh, please? What he said, uh, yeah, we need a bowstring. Uh, something strong and flexible and sinewy. Like what? Come on. I don't nope. know, lady. I'm no engineer. Come on. I'm just a supervisor. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Here you go. animal guts would be perfect. Yeah, but... Yeah, I lost my head we look like the kind of stick men who make good hunters. Do you see me going after a gate beast carrying what? A comb? A dry leaf sharpened to a razor edge? According to Wick, it's a lunar cannon. Apparently, it's powerful enough to send a stick man to the moon. Oh, sure. In a Jules Verne novel, perhaps. April, they have magic. You don't know what this thing can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so let's go back here, I guess, and get our rope, even though that's definitely not something that would work as a bowstring. Oh, if that's not something that would work as a bowstring, why are you going to go get it then? <sighs> well, because we can pick it up and there's nothing else below, so we're going to need it for something. Yeah, because it's an adventure game. Okay? I mean, I was thinking we would, like, attach it such that when we fire something, we basically create, like, a rope from one mm, side to the other, and then you would that, have a way back. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking of what the stickman needed, which was... Like, he needs something to fire it. Yeah, yeah, they apparently need a bowstring, is what they said. Yeah. Uh... Okay, guys, this doesn't make any sense. Let's see if you like it. <laughs> I love no, how you're like, you yourself don't. say it doesn't make sense, but you're like, well. Look, adventure games, you know. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe he's, maybe he's with the truth there. Well, I uh, know do you, that. Uh, do you, just... I mean, you know, you know somebody who's using string right now. <laughs> oh, wait, what? The fishing rod? So yeah, now we can go back and of, ask for it. But that's string. not elastic either. If it's taut enough and not like it's not, yeah, it's m much much more of a a thing you could use than say rope. Well, I was also just annoyed because like the dialogue completely disappeared with him. Mm. Rather than having it be like you could still ask for it, and he's like, "Come back later. I'm gonna get some fish first. Mm -hmm. Did my Laura work okay? Be oh, did you already good. catch fish and eat mm -hmm. them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! Fish very quickly. April be wanting very quickly. Uh, 
No. No offense. I'm just not too fond of seafood. This not be seafood. It be human food. Take someone's offered food, April. What's common? <laughs> it not be seafood, it be human food. Very good. Sitting here until Very good. The sunsets. Then he be going to sleep. And tomorrow? Quaman be deciding that when he wakes up in the morning. Sounds fun. Man, Hello, Elva. Hi. Fine art. Quama not be knowing anything about fine art. He be a Philistine. I don't. Later, okay. So this guy's I... dialogue is such a weird. I, I don't like how it's written, but. Yeah, that's weird. I don't figure I'll be needing the rod anytime soon. Can you oh. click on the fishing rod? Oh, oh yeah. my god, April. Adventure games. I won't need that fishing to rod. Ask him? Wait, is she not? She's stealing his stuff. Like. Well, she asked him before, the technically. Has the game been problematic yet? Uh. It's not problematic as much as it's just like. Other than like. I mean, there are there are a couple of problematic parts of the game written for sure. Dialogue. But it's mostly like. Badly written, yeah. What? Well, yeah, I mean, this game is head and shoulders <laughs> above a lot of adventure games. Still, um, it basically non. It's you look. You look at the dialogue, and you I'm can feel runaway. like it's been written by somebody who's, yeah, a white dude with white dude experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of I... a lot of the characters, a lot of the male characters are like either talk about women or fixated with women They're... or make crude jokes, and uh, you know the women are usually sassy and so like it's yeah. Just, yeah, it feels very but a lot of a lot of tropes, a lot of stereotypes. Sure, it's um... badly written. It's just Norwegian. Um, I think it's just well. I mean, it's not this not well written. It's just. Is it just, it feels, does it just feel yeah. rough to us now? It's from the 90s. I mean, it, well, it's yeah. from 2000, I think, but, or is it 1999? It might be 1999. It is from, like, the other yeah, very tail end of that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I, that made me think about, like, even if, um, uh, I don't know whether you will want to do this, but I, it makes me really want to stream Dreamfall, because Dreamfall is, like, what if that guy, you know, the person who wrote this game decided mm -hmm. we need to make not only a sequel to this game, but what if it was about the Iraq War? Yeah, why? Why would you want to stream that? Why? Why would? Why would? It's fascinating. <laughs> it's so weird. There's there's many other fascinating things in my life that I feel like would benefit me more. It's like you know you're you're a European like guy who's like we're so much better than the Americans and uh, in in the mid two thousands and you're like wow that was such a shit show uh, an ongoing shit show uh, we need to make a game about how that's bad in our fantasy world. Uh, and it's weird as hell. Yeah, that's gonna work good. Mm -hmm. That's right, gonna listen. work good. To stream Hales Moving Castle oh, instead. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I mean, you can. There's nothing stopping you doing it. It's just you will face consequences for doing it. <laughs> Oh, I would like to continue streaming on this channel. Coward! <laughs> oh my god, you're missing, like, the fucking, like, Looney Tunes sound effects during this black screen. <laughs> Is there finishing this? It's the Stickman's Lunar Cannon. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. The lunar cannon is now ready to be tested. Well? well what? Is Hells Moving Castle an Iraq War allegory? Test the cannon. Me? And get myself killed? I, think I mean, you said it, so obviously there's some truth to it, or there's something about it, but I just, I've never, never thought of it. I never thought of it too deeply, the movie. Oh, it is? Okay.
Oh yeah, we're gonna make a grappling hook. Yeah. Place the hook along the bowstring, like so, and let the rope trail behind it. So if I mean you're going to uh, in Discord stream the movie uh, with commentary from yourself on, on what everything represents. Can I test the cannon? That's what I expect now. So you have to do it. Wait, how do I? Oh, there it is. I'm sure that that fish skull that I attached to it is very solidly embedded in that tree. I'm sorry? We don't even get to go on that other screen and walk along that path? Aww. Cowards. Oh, okay, I'll bet. Well, if you hear the weird vibrating noise, it's because Dan is using the muscle massage thing. <laughs> It's very weird sounding. I cannot hear anything, but... He's sitting on the sofa using it in his back. <laughs> it's one of those noises you'd hear and you'd be like, What is going on? I was trying to look at the city, not the updraft, April, but... There was a lot of war in that movie. I don't think I've seen... Howl's Moving Castle. Like a mix between a giant bat and it's a bird person slash pterodactyl person. It looks more like a warrior than a storyteller, though. I hope it speaks English. She saw the pterodactyl. What's up this road? I just look more warrior than this. See, this is the stuff that drive me nuts. Mm -hmm. When April looks at other other people, like she's never seen them before, it's a whole new culture. And then she just like looks like a. Blah, 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 she blah, blah, makes blah. a lot of assumptions as soon as she sees anything. Mm -hmm. the I would love if that was built into some sort of like lore, and that the like, guardians have an innate ability to just know certain things. <laughs> I think she's just like a teenager. I know, <laughs> but I kind of wish that they had kind of written something like that. <laughs> I mean, I think it's part of <laughs> April's character that, and it will come up more, is that. There, there will be pushback against some of her assumptions. Uh, oh, is it? Will there actually? As some of them, at least, yes. That she, okay. she jumps to a lot of conclusions I think, I that, think are, that, that are that are can be the incorrect. Game was gonna offer that. Right. I didn't think the game was gonna uh, offer that. Isn't it dangerous to live inside a volcano? This volcano has not erupted for thousands of years. And the gods protect us. We are safe here. Can you help me across? You are human, and we don't allow human strangers into our village. If you wish to trade, let us know where your ship is anchored, and we will send traders to you with our merchandise. I don't have a ship, and I didn't come here to trade. I came to talk to your leaders. I'm sorry, but we don't allow strangers into our village. Is there another way to get into the volcano? No. This pass is the only What way. sort of trickery is uh is April gonna do to get into it in? Somewhere that leads into the volcano. No, there isn't. There's always a secret cave. <laughs> Not here. Are you absolutely sure there's no secret cave? Human, you talk too much, even for an elation. Actually, I am a traitor. Where is your ship anchored? In, um, Coconut Grove? There is no Coconut Grove on Elias. So, I'm not a traitor, but I am a friend of the Elation people. We don't know you. There is no I don't know if her saying that she's a friend of the Altian people is good, because aren't they at war, or they're like... Yes. Or they're just... Not, not friends. They are be... enemies not with uh, the the Marum. Yeah. Right. Don't your people have a prophecy Even though they're like who comes the ship, same people. Or something like mm -hmm. that. I don't know of any prophecies, human. What kind of prophecies do you know about? And even though they can't go in each other's biomes, like... <laughs> yeah, they said that the Elations, like, basically fish them out, like, 
like birds hunting fish you know they like mm. swoop down and grab them i mean i can see that i can see that but I, kind of yeah i mean it seems like the lake would have to be a lot bigger than the marum in order to do that thank you yes but you must leave now um look look at me no uh do you want a hint? I'll save it for when I really need it. Dust and dry leaves. Oh, uh, sure, I guess. I don't. Dust and dry leaves caught. The uh, use the light as leaf potion on yourself. Oh, okay. Well, I tried the wind. And... You've got to use the wind one as well. Oh God, I think I'm gonna throw up. You got to be a light, and then you wind yourself. Well, that's annoying. Because I tried the one and it just didn't say anything mm -hmm. differently. I can't even imagine what people would pay for this stuff back home. Whoa, I'm flying! Not. I guess I still weigh too much to be carried on that slide up. I don't think people want to, like, float and be lighter. I think they just want to not have the weight on their bodies, which is slightly different than what you just said there, April. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that this guy's like, please don't come over here, and she's just like, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, like, that's what, that's what like, I was saying. She's what if, always like that. She's what if this guy like, just like pushes you? you? You don't have wings, but still. She's always like, fuck you. I do what I want. I mean, she just me, nearly a drowned a whole bunch of people in a boat because she wanted to do what she that's wanted. That's true. What's the windbringer? No, you, you shouldn't say you're shot. You should say, oh no, I uh, yeah, it's it's cool. I can do a fly. <laughs> if someone asks if you're a god, you can just say, say yes. yes. <laughs> and, until they try to like you know, off, like like kill you later on, because obviously you must kill your gods. And to bring us into a new and happier rage. Is that all? You know, I'm starting to forget how simple my life used to be. Family, friends, grades, boys, no prophecies, nobody looking to me for salvation. I don't think that's how simple your life used to be, April. You ran away from home because you were so upset with your home life. This is the other thing about this game. I feel like with the characterization of April, they've written April the backstory and often they just don't use it to... Um you know, use it to guide her decisions. Like, it feels like her life lessons and her her learned things she learned in her life don't guide her as much as, like, you, and, and, and you think that they would, right? Like, the things that she can empathize with or understand because, mm -hmm. like you just said, she was a runaway and stuff. She never brings it up in a way that's like... She's like, oh, you, you know, it's just... It's just like, she's been given a backstory. Yeah. But that backstory isn't relevant to how her character is, which feels very lazy it feels like the characters have been written from this perspective of like they've had this backstory here's how they'll go through these trials and tribulations or whatever uh yeah sometimes i feel like april even though she has a personality sometimes i feel like she exists to move the plot forward in a way that like we we obviously see the world and play the game through her but mm -hmm. sometimes it feels a little bit like she's just not yeah. a full person i mean yeah there's, there's an element of like she is the the person who has to ask all the questions or like it, it would just be better if she jumps used her her like if she, if she just she answers and asks things in a way to move the plot going forward like I'm just mm -hmm. going to do this, or I'm just going to do that, rather than, like, draw upon our own experiences to, you know, yeah, it's... Hello. Good day, stranger. What would you hear among the Alation? I need to speak with the teller. The teller? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that the... the city and you will see the castle. The teller, she keeps to the tower. She's old and her eyes don't take there's a there's a weird dichotomy in this game where like I think in the Stark sections you get you can get oh, she feels like a character in the Stark sections, but she, here she just feels like Right. But also yeah. then the, like the actual plot of the Stark sections a lot of times is like 
kind of worse or like has like weird shit in it that doesn't work as well as it does in Arcadia where like well everything's weird in Arcadia so you can kind of get away with stuff that they don't really get away with but April is a lot more disconnected when she's here because she's just like I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> she just, mm. she just like. She also says, she, yeah, I was gonna say the, the she's like. The boat really annoyed me because it was oh, like the boat no is qualms. terrible. The like, boat just, is unbelievable. That that yeah. is the, just like the, the the perfect point of like she's yeah. written to move to Portal on. She isn't thinking, God, I can't do this. Like you know, there are people on this boat. Like there was never a consideration. Is that makes her feel like? Well, it makes her feel very like she's a very selfish person. I mean, very, like... yeah, and I kind of wonder about, that makes me wonder if, like, because I think that is something about April that is written about her, like, like her character is, like, uh, necessarily kind of written is, she's very bullheaded and just kind of goes ahead and does stuff, and now that makes me think about, like, because the way that her, we, we kind of skimmed over it when we played when we originally played, we read some of her diary and stuff in the past about her backstory mm -hmm. and that she's basically like, I feel really bad for my mom and she has like younger siblings and she's just like, yeah, but I just got to get out for myself. Uh, and like, hope you guys work out. I hope it works out for you guys. And it, it is written very sympathetically to her. Like that. She feels like she can't do anything to help them. Um, but then you see her. But like, at, yeah, at, I, I at wonder if the game team. is sort of considering that, like, like this is what April does. She just like leaves people in the dust and like doesn't give a shit. Like the thing is, she cared. Like she demonstrated like cared about her friends. Yeah, yeah, she so, does. So like, so it's, so it's just like it's just interesting how there are people she cares about, but it's very like, again, maybe it's just cherry picked for the plot. She definitely didn't care about those uh, electric uh, electricians. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think she doesn't <laughs> care about people she doesn't know at all. Yeah. That's certainly like. It's a little elation girl. <laughs> Does April have narcissistic traits? Hmm. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that that also I feel like you can kind of just say, well, she's she's like eighteen. <laughs> like, what you doing? She's she's very self centered. <laughs> Really? My daddy owns a farm. Yeah? You have animals there? Sure. He has some cows and some horses what, and... What's cows and horses? Well, cows are big, brown, fat... Why does nobody seem like... Nobody seems to care that she's there. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't they all be like, what the fuck? Why is there like a human here? Horses? Yeah. Uh, horses are fun to be around. I guess maybe the kid... I don't know. I, I would think everybody, yeah, would be freaking out. Yeah, or have some reaction. You're a perfect teen, Elvac. I'd like to make a joke here, but like, yeah, I don't believe it, but I bet you wear, like, a good My name's April, what's yours? Saina. Will you be my friend, April? An empathetic As long as you promise to be my friend. I promise. <laughs> Why? What does that smiley mean? There in the castle tower. My daddy's watching the entrance so that only nice people can get in. Do you think he'll let me in? I don't know if you're nice, but you have to ask my daddy. Only nice people can get in. Where are the other children in your village? Can you let me in? I don't know. Oh, they're in school now. <laughs> and why aren't you in school? Because I'm ahead of everyone else. I'm really smart, you know. And the only You're born 25 years old? Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. They're younglings. God. Didn't we have a whole conversation with younglings the other day? <laughs> we did. Yeah, we did. We had another night. We sure did. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Elvac, but yeah, Elvac, who was also there, is nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> And my mom is working on her pottery at home. And she doesn't want me disturbing her because she might make a mistake. But the day after tomorrow, I get to go back to school. Is it good? I don't know why I'm talking about it. And I'm getting pretty good at that too. 
I <laughs> did not realize that, that. That is like, I've seen quite a bit of that game, and I didn't see, I don't remember anything about Young Youngs, but I also haven't seen a lot of the cutscenes, so. Yes, I'm sorry. There are some things I have to do. Grown-ups are always too busy. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a child. But then they, maybe their children's are, children are like 40 years old because they live to like 900. Oh, this kid? Yeah. Oh, they sound, like actually physically said I can't hear the, 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 the game, so I don't know if they don't sound like a child or not. I think they meant like dialogue wise. Oh, right. Oh, like I did. I have seen that part, yeah. It's a young Alation female working with Clay. She's so confident about. Who these people are. I know, I was gonna make that comment again, just like the mayor people. Sorry. Are you I mean there was one earlier where she was like it's an old man, I think, but it's kinda hard to tell. Which is like, well April, you could just not make any assumptions. <laughs> not, yeah. Supposedly. <laughs> no, we got to know in this game. There's, if you're you're a man or a woman or you know, it's just like that's that. That's it. I like your pottery. It's our craft. And, and she's got craft to assign those to, to, to everyone she sees, even if they aren't, like, you know, humans. And it's like, they're not human. Like, right, what, what, what is this about? <laughs> April's like, well, I know lots of people are professional artists. Well, none of them make a living off of it, but... I have a husband yet, so I haven't tried. Have you? Do you have a husband and children? Neither, thank God. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, neither, a talking I bird. <laughs> I was 18 turnings this spring. I'm ready for a husband, but I've yet to court anyone who could make me soar on the winds. I think the men of Tom are dull and timid. What about the guard on the road below the village? He's our age, isn't he? You son? He's quite pretty. And his wings are big, but I don't think he likes me. He never looks at me or talks to me. That doesn't mean anything. Do we have to, like, do some Maybe matchmaking for some reason? Uh, let's see. Oh my god. I mean, she just asked us to, so... No. Oh, well, well. Maybe it doesn't come to anything, I guess. Why is he perched on top of that pillar? Talk to the, April, of all the things you're super confident about, that's the say? thing you have a question about. Why is he perched on top of that pillar? Why is he perched on top of the pillar? <laughs> yeah, like, of but, all, she's she so confident, yeah, like, she's so confident about all these uh, other things, she's like, why is the guard, the guard the, the, the on top of the pillar? Older that our dad was on top of the pillar in guard duty, like. <laughs> Imagine April as a mom. Who was this? Uh, it's hard to imagine an eighteen-year-old like April as a mom. Not that she wouldn't. I mean, yeah, look, like, I, I, and I, mom, I know what late. older April is like, and I still can't imagine her as a mom. <laughs> <laughs> April's tip person to have a gender reveal party. What would you with the teller, human? She cares a lot about gender. <laughs> Jesus. The teller is our teacher and our mother, but she will not see the foreigners who walk into our city. And how, pray tell, did you get here? The road is closed and guarded. It's got to Ah, uh, somebody fun. finally asks. <laughs> you will not work on me, human. Please, leave our village and return to your ship. Halt. Who would visit the teller? I'm the Windbringer. The Windbringer? You are not the Windbringer. Are you? How else would I have been able to get up here? I am the Windbringer. If so, you must prove that you are of the elation. There are four tales from the four corners of the world that you must know by heart. They are the tale of winds, the tale of stars, the tale of sea, and the tale of homecoming. I will ask you one question from each tale, and you must answer each correctly, or you cannot be the Windbringer. Are you ready? Hell no. no. Give me some time to prepare. Then return when you are ready, and I will test your knowledge of the four tales. Halt! Who would visit the teller? Are you ready? No, give me some time then to return prepare. return when you are 
All right, let's go back back and learn some of these stories. Try to. Hey, buddy. Do you want to tell us anything? Do you know one of the four tales of winds, stars, sea, and homecoming? Mine is the tale of sea, human. Would you mind telling it to me? I would be happy to do so. This is the tale oh, of sea. Oh, boy. Told in my own words, as it was told to me by my teacher in his words, and to him by his teacher in his words. This was a very, very long time ago, when the Alation were a strong people, <laughs> and we could spend days riding the hot winds above the seas. We hunted fish then, and we were at war with whenever the Whenever we do, I. I don't know if anyone can hear me over whatever talking is going on, but whenever we do an adventure game that you're required to write stuff down, I'm thinking that dumb fucking good joke in uh, Undertale with the puzzle floor. I don't remember. It's the one where, uh, what's his face? Um, Papyrus makes this like super trap and it's like it randomizes all the tiles and this tile does this if you stand on this tile does that if you stand on it and then so you write it all down like i wrote it all down other people have too when they first play it and then he clicks the button and it just makes every single tile the same color and it's the the tile that doesn't do anything so it's making fun of the fact that you didn't need to write any of that down it's like a very good very good joke Carlos grinned and told the teller that he would deliver the jewel both quickly and safely and that she was not to worry. But the teller did worry because Carlos was young and too sure of himself. But she wanted to test him and to teach him that sharp claws, a pointy beak, and strong teeth are not all a warrior needs. That a warrior must also be wise and careful. So Akalis set out across the sea on his flight. It was on the fourth day that he spotted something in the water that caught his attention. And forgetting his duty and following his curiosity, Akalis dived towards the water to investigate. When he came closer, he saw that there were merum in the water, foolishly hunting close to the surface. And Akala saw an opportunity to again prove his might as a great warrior to his people and to capture the fins of a few wet tails. But this time, Akala's arrogance got the better of him because the Merum had set a trap. As he dived towards the Merum with his claws, a spear shot up from the water to hit him. Akala struck the water and dropped the jewel he was carrying and it was all he could do not to drown. The Collis was bleeding, and the Merrim were grabbing on We're to his to three more of these. But he mm -hmm. bravely, and finally he managed to escape. But even though he now lived, he was dead inside. There was a part of me was like, should we save now before we listen to these? <laughs> would always be with him. The Collis could not return to his village because he had neglected his duty to his teller and to his people and so he went away to a small island where he could be alone to himself and his people a callus now became the lost one he who had been on a sacred mission but had failed in his arrogance a year passed oh and one day a callus <coughs> met with two traders from the ship that came close to his island from the traders, Akala's heard speak of this a, is a lot. creature that lived in the sea. The Octowo. The Octowo was said to have a third eye, like a jewel, and that this eye pulled hapless sailors into its deadly eight armed grasp. Akala's knew immediately that the Octowo's third eye had to be the jewel that he lost in the sea a year ago. And he now saw the opportunity to redeem himself. But a nation were not used to water, and the thought of submerging himself in the cold, harsh ocean chilled Akalis to his heart. But he was the lost one, and if in his death he could at the very least redeem himself, 
to his own heart, then it would be worth it. So Achilles fashioned himself a spear, because in the water his claws and his beak would be too slow. And he flew out to where the octobole was last seen. And then Achilles dived into the sea. The dark water closed in on him, and his wings and legs went numb. But still Achilles kept pushing down until he saw the lair of the octobo. Spotting Achilles, the octobo attacked, and Achilles saw the monster's third eye, his sacred jewel, oh, shining bright in the darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry. That he had never felt before. But as he began fighting the eight armed monster, Akaris realized that if he were to fight like he usually did, <sighs> this is, yeah, this is like, I thought, I thought it, I thought it was going to be reasonable. through a tight chasm. They said they like to tell stories. And then he swam above it. And using his spear, tip it doesn't say they're any good at telling stories. Oh. Now, almost out of air, Achilles took the sacred jewel from the Octuo's head and swam back up. Finally, Achilles could deliver the sacred jewel to the town across the sea. And upon returning to his village, he went to the teller. Bowed his head and said, Forgive me, Teller. I bet the if question I is just like on the last thing. I could do everything, like... but I could not, and I became the lost one because of it. You were lost, said the Teller, but you are no more, because now you see the limits of your own strength, and you will know that a warrior must be careful and wise. Yeah, I mean, I assume this is going to be on, like, the morals, probably. Hopefully we can kind of... Oh my god. Hopefully we can... Hopefully the others are shorter, but I will also skip through them a bit. Can you actually skip through them? I bet I can skip dialogue, yeah. So, we saw Did you take notes? Because if you have to listen to those again. Yes. Son of Kama. A good looking guy like you must get a lot of attention from the girls, right? Are you asking me for courtship? Me? No. Oh, I think it's the kind of the thing that once you've listened to them, me. like, uh, it's gonna, when you I ask you the answers, it's it gonna will, give you the answer. Yeah, unlock yeah. the correct answer. I think it, I think it does, yeah, from what I can see. Whenever I try to talk to one of them, she ignores me. Huh. Even Nima? Nima? No, she's too pretty. Ah, all the women are cold and unfriendly. Oh, boy. I think the problem's you like then, did. Trust me, Isam. You go talk to her one of these days, and I'm sure you'll find you have a lot in common. Just be yourself. This is it all, like... You think so? The romances in this game, I swear, but all the men are always complaining that the women are either too good or not good enough or whatever, and the men and the women are all, it's just like, there's a lot of, a lot of dudes complaining about women in this game. Is the tale of winds with Very much. Then I shall tell it. This is the tale of village of Karan, in the mountains of tall winds. There lived a young Alatian woman, named even though her wings were no broader. Nor her body sleeker than anyone else's, she pursued this foolish desire with the other young Alation in her village, and her name became known. I think you need to just skip it. The she of the was not happy because, in her vanity, even though she was she better to be so if it's possible. better than anyone else, I'm skipping it. She would be remembered for all time. And so one day, a bit of just reading it and then skipping. The top friends and her family pleaded with her not to. Because every Alation knew, but Iwana would not listen. And on a cold and clear morning, she climbed up the Tower of Light Fears. <laughs> Make sure to memorize this. I fuck off, fell back. So the other is for. Greater, <laughs> watched her from Father Low said that for a split moment, and the thin air made her plummet towards the ground, and to fall and to her vanity always stands to fall. That. Oh, that is a lot shorter. My tale. 
Is it, or is it just because you skipped through it? I think it's a lot shorter. <laughs> I mean, it was obviously shorter because we skipped it, but also it's like one act versus the other one was like at least two. You know what I'm gonna do in like fucking like ten years time you're gonna receive a letter and it's gonna be from me and all it's gonna be in the letter are these fucking stories and you're just gonna be you're just gonna be so confused. You just received this random letter with these fucking stories in them and it's me tormenting you with the stories. Do you know why I had to learn the tale of homecoming? It took a long time, but I think I got it now. Please and very well. This is the tale of Homecoming. Moran was a handsome young Alation man with strong wings and a hearty beak. Moran was betrothed to Anara, the loveliest girl there ever was. But Moran was hesitant to enter into union with Anara, to become her husband and to give her children. He would now, always come Anara was skilled at pottery, but even more so. Fair, fair. What is fair to these people? I don't understand. Anara to be her apprentice, to learn all the tales, but Anara to refused, knowing that if she did accept the teller's offer. She would never be her able refusal to refusal to become the teller's apprentice was unheard of, because who could refuse such an honor? But despite Anara's love, Moran was still hesitant. And then one day he told Anara, in accordance with our traditions, I will be freed from our betrothal. Not until it I It was come not back. unusual for a young Alation man at that time to go on a pilgrimage. But Anara was heartbroken, because she had thought that Moran would soon want to marry her. Just wait when for me, and stay with your pots, to make the time pass quickly. Many years went by. And Moran had exciting adventures on the far shores. But by and by, but when he, he returned, he could not find Anara amongst the pot makers. And that when the teller left on the last wind during the previous winter, angry, Moran made his way to the teller's nest. And when he saw Anara, he said to her, and you did something wrapped in leaves from the cot behind her. I love how this guy's like, you didn't wait all these years for me. Mm -hmm. Just sit and being sad that I wasn't coming home. And why did you not wait for me like I asked you to? Because I wanted it to be my marriage gift to you. But when many, many years passed, but I want I to marry you, cried Moran. I came back. But Anara just nodded at the broken heart. And a broken heart. heart can never be mended. And so Anara turned away. Never to oh my god, I hate again. this story so much. This is the worst <laughs> story. Uh... And I told it in my own words as Goodbye, Nima. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Uh, I love how it's the woman's fault in this story. They, she broke his heart. It's like, fuck off. Fuck right off. You left her. Oh, no, you gotta talk to the kid. Now? Oh, the quit. No, give I me thought maybe this guy had one. I didn't I think, think the kid would have one. Actually, I don't know if the kid has one. Uh. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to, so... I don't think we can go so to another to screen. Yeah. God, that story was so bad. I don't think he was trying to blame it on her. Yeah, and the oh like, come on. The last part was like, oh, and he turned away and he was heartbroken and blah 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 blah. Just like the part, his heart was shattered in two. Wow. Yes. I thought it was like it was both of them. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't like the story anyway, but. Uh, in the small village of Jinjin near the rumbling hills of Onion, there lived a girl called Mona. She was a curious girl, and she would somewhere all... else, they would say to Mona, but she didn't want to play with the other children. So she one day, after getting many complaints from the pottery makers and guardmen and traders and soldiers in the village, Mona instead, she could go play with the other children, or sit still and draw, or work. She decided to go exploring the forest that lay just outside of the village. Of Gin course she wasn't planning on going far into the forest. But then her eye black tail ran away into the forest, and Mona followed. But then, after a good while, the fluff tail disappeared. She was the exhausted forest. after running after the fluff tail for so long. And as she looked the first time, her curiosity had gotten the better of her, and this time it was zero. Mona was too young to fly. It was getting dark, and Mona was all alone in this deep, dangerous forest. She was sleeping. began crying. Soon it got really dark. And somewhere, not far away, she woke, fell asleep. She woke up when she heard a voice calling her from somewhere far above. You have let your curiosity lead you astray, said one. You are lost, and you deserve Remember this, said the fifth spirit. I promise, said Mona. Whatever it is, I 
promise I will do it. It will be a tale to warn the curious to be carefully contained. To remind the elation <coughs> that the spirits of their tellers watch out for them. And Mona did tell her tale, the tale of stars, to everyone in the village. This was my tale, the tale of that stars. Was a beautiful. Thank you. Goodbye, Saina. You're leaving again? I wish you could stay. Me too, Saina. Believe me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the first one was it the longest a by a lot. Are you ready for the questions now? Yes. yes. Ask me the questions. In the Tale of Winds, oh, which mountain did Mona fall God. in her vain attempt to fly higher and further than anyone else? Mount okay. Ectaana, the Tower of Light. That is correct. In the tale of stars, what did Mona see in the sky? I mean, at least the other answer gives you a silly. <laughs> the spirits of five tellers. That is correct. In the tale of sea, what creature did the lost one battle in his quest to recover the sacred jewel? The Octavo? That is correct. My final question to you is this. In the tale of homecoming, what was given to Moran by his teller when he returned from his pilgrimage? Well, a broken pot to teach him that absence may break a heart in two. You have correctly answered all my questions, and so have proven your knowledge of the four tales. You are the Windbringer. The teller would see you presently. Wow, that was easy. All right, do you want to <laughs> like in the overall grand scheme of things? We just listen to some stories and they know who the windbringer. <laughs> well, we also did actually bring wind first. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I can bring wind, it just comes from ours. Wow, <laughs> do, do you want to stop before we go talk to this person? Yeah, let, that is a good place to stop. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be more lore. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. There's Yes, it's going to be just more talking to the... We're going to talk to the teller. Mm -hmm. The storyteller. Well, uh, I mean... Uh, we're so close to the end of this chapter. No, we'll wait, we'll wait. Because at least next next week we can uh, finish this chapter and then just start the new one. This okay. is a good spot, I think. Yeah. It's a nest. They don't all seem to live in nests, though. There are cool. inhabited buildings in this world. Your really? Card. Chapter 9! <laughs> so the last time we did two chapters, this time we did, like, most of one chapter. Yeah. It did have, a, like, a, a fairly elaborate puzzle. It did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just varies. Just and it was fair. You wanted, you know what? Like, okay, if I told you the answers, we would have done it in, like, ten minutes. But, like, you know, you're playing the game. Like, there's joy to, to be doing the puzzles and figuring it out yourself, so... Yeah, I mean, I I think it, it once it, I think it was frustrating in understanding what was going on. It wasn't mm -hmm. explained yeah. very well, or it wasn't like like the way to to figure it out was not very good. But once I actually understood, I think it was a fine puzzle. Um, it it just wasn't didn't quite have enough. Uh enough stuff to it, enough like sort of and this is the thing i've said before with like siberia and stuff is like i think a lot of people are like oh adventure games they have bad puzzles and like the thing that makes puzzles bad is really not the logic of the puzzle itself most of the time i think it is the stuff around the puzzle like all of the dialogue and like sort of yeah. trying to to guide you to to give you an understanding um and so I think that was didn't quite have enough, but like we we did get there. It was a lot better mm -hmm. than than a lot of stuff that I've seen where it's just like you you have just literally nothing. Um, most of the stuff in this game does have like you can see what the hints were supposed to be. If you can't figure it out, you can see what the hints are were supposed to be after you do it, and it's like uh, okay, you didn't quite make the hints work, but you tried. <laughs> <laughs> Which... You tried. It's like I had the same moat in the in next desk. So you tried. <laughs> I just like I play a lot of adventure games. You know, I just played Siberia. 
Siberia doesn't try a lot of the time. <laughs> it's just like, you're just like, what? Why was I supposed to do that? I don't fucking know. Just <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> Plug on that thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just it's, Siberia has no, like, look uh, for most of the things. Like, hmm. she she has nothing to say about anything. You, you also can't interact with anything that is not directly related to a puzzle. So, like, hmm. none of this shit exists. Uh, it, it's wild, kind of, how bad it is. <laughs> So I'm like coming back and I'm like, yeah, you know, this is fine. Like it's got <laughs> some problems, but it's fine. Um okay, yeah, we'll we'll come back and finish this next week. Uh not we'll finish the chapter. Uh and then we've got uh I mean I think there's twelve chapters in an epilogue. I think thirteen mm -hmm. chapters? Uh, I closed the thing, but 12 seems about right. It, it's 12 or 13, because it's like... Yeah. Or, uh... It's going around in, like, a clock thing. There's, there's like, a the thing on the, mm. the the chapter screens. is like, the, the Guardian thing. Uh, which we saw in the opening. Um, yeah, and then... Tomorrow... Um, so there's no Mega Aquarium stream tomorrow, because Darcy is away this weekend. Um, but like we talked about earlier, we'll be playing you four at some point. <laughs> five, five should be fine. It should okay. Be fine. Okay. Uh... I'll try not to either a get drunk or b get high in Nicole's so that I make it home. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just make it home. You know, if you, if you got a driver, <laughs> I guess. You can... I do, I do. But well, I yeah, do. you don't drive anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's it just more like how long it takes me to go home. It wasn't the not mm. being able to get home. It's just like... <laughs> no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. I'm going, I'm going there for one, so that should be enough time. Okay. <laughs> um, then the Listen, rest... we like to just sit and talk and... That's, yeah. So... Really, yeah, it's fine. I, I hope you have a good time. <laughs> um... The rest of the streams are on the schedule on Twitch. Um, you can follow the channel for notifications. You can sub the channel for emails to the cats. Who I didn't get the camera on tonight because they weren't there at the start, but they're being very cute. Let's see what's the coward. I wh how, what? Nothing. <laughs> um, you can you can join the Discord. Where you two can call Seawolf a coward for not oh, turning the, the camera on for the cats. Fail between. Also for failing to turn on the bot. Well, it was working yesterday. Okay. Well, um, and there's your Twitter account. Uh, is there anything you want to call no, attention to? Okay. Uh, yeah, everyone should play Neo The World Ends With You. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there, no, the bot did respond. It just took a long time. No, yeah, that's that is, weird. It, it's either drunk or high. Today. I've never <laughs> seen that happen. Okay. Um, is this a, no, okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, chatting, watching. Uh, hope you had a good time. Hope you join us again in the future and have a good night. <laughs>